In Windchill MPM Link, you can create a process plan to document the different operations and sequences necessary to fabricate or assemble a product. When you create the process plan, very often you are going to specify the plant at which the product will be created. Let's take a look at how to create a plant. Here I am in Windchill in a web browser. I'm going to start off by creating a new library for all my different manufacturing resources. I will click on the browse command in the navigator and here I am on the libraries. Let's go to view all and I have three different libraries in here. Let's create a brand new library. Now most people will not have the ability to create libraries. For this one, let's call it our manufacturing library. And we have a drop down list for templates. I'm just going to call this an MPM link general library template to create this. And let's leave the private access set to no. And I will click the OK button. And now we are on the details page of the library. There's not much that I can do here from the actions drop down menu. Let's go to the browse and then I'm going to expand the manufacturing library to go to folders. Right now we don't have any folders. Let's say I have a number of different plants and I want to organize them in there. Here's the dialog box. Let's just call this plants. And then I will click on the finish button. The folder was created. Let's click on the plants folder. Let me change the drop down list here to all. By the way, this is something that trips up a lot of people. You have a drop down list for your different table views. Sometimes people create something like, hey, I created the object. Why can't I see it? One of the first things that you want to do is check to see if you have a certain table view selected in here and then change it to all. That way I can see, okay, here I, here's my plants folder and I can click on it. So anyhow, I have my new folder created. To create a brand new plant, I can go to the actions menu and then new. We have a lot of different choices for creating new objects. This is going to be a new resource. And then this brings open a dialog box for the type of resource. I can go to the drop down list. You can see that we have in here process material, resource group, skill, tooling, and work sensor. Let's choose plant. And then for the name of it, I'm going to call this the name of my company, Seattle. And here we have a category drop down list, and this is going to be for production. You can write in a description. Here we have a view. This doesn't really matter for the plant, but let's choose manufacturing. Here's the folder it will be created in. And then you can fill in information like the actual physical location. Here's an option to keep checked out after check in. Eh, I have, I'm happy with all the information in here. And I do not need a CAD document for this particular resource for MPM link. Let's click on the finish button. And here we have the plant object created. Now I can start specifying that process plans will use this plant as a resource. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.